Hello, current friends and future friends alike. My name is March. Marchland, that is, if you want to be all formal about it. This is it. This is the episode. This is finally the episode. This is the episode where we're getting our revenge on Nimona. Yes, I'm so excited. Uh, we've lost every battle so far to Nimona, other than the very first trainer battle. So I don't know how many that is. What's that? What's that rate? But this time, this time we're going to go in there and we're going to win. Now, of course, we have some other things we're going to need to do this episode as well. We are finishing off all of our main storyline quests. Okay, Victory Road, Starfall Street, Path of Legends. With Path of Legends, we have to go meet Arvin at the Lighthouse. For Starfall Street, we have to talk to the director one last time and Penny. So we're going to do both those things first. And then we're going to go challenge Nimona. Honestly, it feels like just the other day that we began our journey here. But we've come a long way since those early days of the game. Although I gotta say, this area is as beautiful as ever. Alright, well we still have a little bit of daylight left. Let's go meet up with Arvin. Well, this is the lab. I used to come here to play all the time when I was a kid. There better be a good reason for calling us out here like this. Let's find out. Everyone always says he's some kind of genius. Absolutely brilliant as a Pokemon professor. My dad, that is. But let me tell you, as a parent, he's the worst. All he ever does is work. He never comes home. I don't have a single memory of him even playing with me. His own kid. Mabostiff's the only one who was there for me. Always. Anyway, it's open now. Go on in. Oh, what could be in here? What does Churro want with this lab? That whiteboard. He wants that whiteboard. Some important scribbles. I need your help. I am currently at the deepest point of Area Zero, in the great crater of Paldea. I have been researching the unique Pokémon here for a long time. I am asking the two of you to lend a hand, to help carry out the final step of the great Professor Turo's glorious research. Not full of himself or anything like that. But there is something we need first. Something that can be found only within the lab. What we need is the Violet Book. Wait, do you mean this book? That expedites things. Bring the Violet Book to the deepest depths of Area Zero. I promise that will be an experience worth treasuring if you come. I must note, however, that Area Zero is both home to vicious Pokemon and outfitted with powerful cybernetic security systems. It seems to me that you might struggle if the two of you were to enter alone. You may take the time to gather some reliable allies before you come, if you feel the need. I will be waiting you in the deep steps of Area Zero whenever you arrive. Uh, yeah, I know, you, you said that, we got it. You're, you're in the depths. And we have to assemble a team to plumb them. I got it, okay. Area Zero. That place is bad news. It was down in Area Zero that my boast if got wounded in the first place. In all honesty, I'd be perfectly happy to never see that place again. Are you going to go? Both of these answers are very positive and optimistic, which in general I am very much about, but like, I, I don't know if this is the right energy for this time. Well, we might find our treasure. Whatever that is. Our treasure, huh? Yeah, I suppose that was the assignment we were given. And I can't just stand by and watch while a friend heads off into danger on her own. So I'm going to... Oh, Arvin, that's nice of you. We made a good friend. Besides, I'd love to give my dad a piece of my mind. Oh yeah, let's do that. That guy's the worst. <laughs> All right then, Marchlin, outside. We're going to have a Pokemon battle to see if we're ready to head into Area Zero or not. Wait, what? I wasn't ready for a battle. Uh-oh. <laughs> Mostly to see if I'm ready or not. Let's go. What happens if I lose this battle? All right, well, we're just not going to lose. That's what's going to happen. All right, who do we got? Claudia? Bread? Sure. All right. We'll, we'll, we'll try it with this team. Oh, I did not mean to go outside. I was going to save first. <laughs> Oops. Oh, look at that puppy. Rough. Okay, let's go. Oh, I kind of expected a cutscene to just kick in. <laughs> and now I'm just like awkwardly standing too close to Arvid and Mabostiff. All right, you ready for battle, Marchlin? Excellent. You're ready too, right, Mabostiff? Yep, Mabostiff says he's ready. 
Wait, you're battling with the Bobo Stiff, but Bobo Stiff just got better. Oh yeah, I can see why you'd be worried. But my buddy here is bursting with energy. You'd never know he was so weak just a little while ago. Won't leave me alone, always whining at me, wanting to battle you and your Pokemon. It's been so long I'd nearly forgotten, but he always did love to battle. Even if we always lost that student council girl, the battle fanatic one. Oh, Nimona? Yeah, I'll be fighting her later. Anyway, my point is, there's no need to worry. We're a brand new Arvin and Stiff, and we're feeling audacious. Or maybe herbaceous? Herbaceous? Herbaceous. What does that mean? What does that mean? Um, dear Google, what does herbaceous mean? Denoting or relating to herbs in the botanical sense. I don't think you mean that word then. Well, I don't always have the right words either, so... Ooh, he's serious. He means business. But does he know that I have a quillfish who sometimes has pokerus? But not today. <laughs> Good job, Paddle. <laughs> That's the spirit, Arvin. He has faith in his team. Also, I didn't check what level Greedunt was. What level are you? Don't- what? Earthquake? Uh-oh. No, don't do that. <laughs> oh, okay. He's only around the 58 level. <laughs> then we're good. Alright, how do you like your own Earthquake? Why didn't that do, like, any damage? <laughs> I have- I have concerns. Alright, big squirrel, down. Garganacle. Gargan- ga ga Gargan- Uh, not as cool as Hazel. Not as cool as Knuckle Stack. Ooh, you lift that! Uh-oh. Aha! Bread toughed it out! They're just kind of handing me this battle. Uh, Cloyster, though, probably has Ice Spinner or Aurora Beam. Uh, lemon it is. Icicle Spear. Wow, all five! That's impressive! Oh no, Liquidation! Cloyster's faster! Aw, sorry, Lemon. I hope this isn't foreshadowing the battle that we're going to have later. Surely not. Alright, in love and paralyzed. Surely that's got to lead to good things. Now we just go for flinches? No! You got through all of it! Ugh. Forget about Arvin being ready for Area Zero, am I? Alright, little teacup. You got this. Nice job. Oh, you have Crunch! Ah, oh, I should have seen that coming. Well, that's not good. Alright, Brad, you're gonna have to make a really important play for us. Oh, and Arvin's last Pokémon is a dark Pokémon. Shoot! Karen is gonna be really bad against that. Oh, wait, Karen's part dark. I don't, I don't, I don't know this game. <laughs> I don't know how to play this game. Sorry, Brad, but thank you for your sacrifice. Alright, Paddle. You're back in. Oh, I have become error. I thought about using Toad Scroll, but then I thought that they looked too goofy. So I used the Quillfish instead. <laughs> That's the first time I've ever terror typed you. You've got like a face above your face. That's pretty fun. And your, like, rock base becomes all gemmy, and your orbs become all gemmy. Oh, that's really cool. Oh, attack fell. That's not ideal. Wait, no. You're a special attacker on my set. You're fine, never mind. <laughs> Why am I bad at this game? Arvin's pulling out all the stops. We match now. <laughs> you have play rough! No! Uh oh. Uh oh. Um. Miss? Just miss? No! Oh dear. Arvin, I think you're ready for Area Zero. <laughs> like, I'm a good benchmark.
Okay, we made it back to Mavostiff. It's it's the fourth attempt. You you don't you don't want to know, but things are looking a lot better this time. I have a feeling that the dog is faster than Rosemary. Oh no, I'm wrong. Rosemary's faster. All right, cool. We at least got a hit in. I was worried we wouldn't get that. All right, Rosemary, good job. So this is who we're left with to take on Mabostiff. We've got three Pokemon. Uh, we know that Mabostiff has play rough, but I have an idea. Alright, Hazel. Oh yeah, and uh, Garganeckle set up Stealth Rocks. Rude. Salt Cure. As long as we can get this off, I think we're going to be fine. Ooh, close though. Very close. Alright, like two more? Just two more salt cures. Willoughby? I think you can take two hits. And you might even be able to dish a hit back yourself. Oh yes, but most have finally missed an attack. That hasn't happened before. <laughs> Alright, we did it. We beat Arvin. <laughs> like I said, I hope this isn't like a uh, signs to come for Nimona. Oh, and suddenly got really bright. <laughs> Wonderful. Wonderful! We were so close, Mabostiff. So close! But Marchalin, Thanks, little buddy. I don't know if he's talking about me or the dog half the time. Um, we need a new nickname. Like, Little Bunny? You can call me Little Bunny. That works. Dang. This is the strength of someone who could take on those Titan Pokémon, huh? Yeah, much as I hate to admit it, I do think we're gonna need some support. The Pokemon in Area Zero are super strong, and there are all sorts of weird machines there too. I'd say we need at least two more people. Someone with champion rank skills, and somebody who can deal with crazy tech. Uh, Nimona has some crazy skills. The student council girl? Yeah, she'd be perfect for the job, but I doubt she'd give us the time of day unless one of us was on her level. As in champion rank level. You didn't, you didn't hear about me uh, becoming a champion, did you Arvin? You were uh, a little too concerned with uh, making sandwiches, huh? Okay. <laughs> Is Arvin a one-sided friend? Maybe we'll talk to him about that later. But well, we've got to do what we've got to do. Whoever you think would be a help, just try getting in good with them. We'll see if we can't get a team together. Get in touch if you make progress. I'll do the same. All right, and with that, Path of Legends is complete. <laughs> we did it. And we have our next objective. We have to head back to the school, talk to Penny, get her to help with the crazy tech stuff, and beat Nimona, a true champion. And we could use her power to take on Area Zero. All right, first on the list is Penny. She's the one I want to talk to next, which means I'm going to fly to Yuva Academy. I want to skip all of the, I want to skip the cutscene trigger with Nimona here. All right, to the director's office we go. Um, what are you- oh. <laughs> okay, that's Quillfish's netball in the floor, isn't it? That's what that is. Huh, is Quillfish even leading my party? He's not. So why is that there? <laughs> why is the game so weird with Paddle? Why does Paddle always get singled out for these things? I suppose there are just some mysteries we won't be solving today. Alright, Director. I'm here. Ah, there you are, Miss Merchelin. I wanted to thank you for your hard work in resolving the situation with Team Star. If not for you, I suspect I would have done the team a grievous injustice in my choice of punishment for their actions. You have my sincere gratitude. Um, it's Penny. Uh, Penny, watch out for the dive ball. Don't, don't trip over that. That's Paddle's house. Uh, hello, Director. About the STCs. I'd like to work on them together with the rest of Team Star. <laughs> That's wonderful news. Thank you very much for your favorable response. But, um, I think I should be punished more heavily than the others, I think. Why so? Because of Operation Starfall? No, not that. Because of the other really bad thing I did. <laughs> oh, Penny. <laughs> what did you do? And what would that be? Um, you know the LP I gave you both in exchange for helping with Operation Starfall? 
I got a hold of it sort of illegally by hacking the Pokemon League's LP management system. Ah, I see. That's that's quite the revelation. I did not think such a thing was even possible in the first place. It wasn't really that hot. Uh, I mean, I'm really sorry and I won't do it again. Hmm. This matter is rather out of my jurisdiction, I'm afraid. I will have to contact Miss Gita, the Pokemon League chairwoman, on how to best proceed. I figured as much. I do apologize, Miss Marchlin, but I will have to ask you to give us some privacy. Uh-oh. I hope Penny's not in too much trouble. Well, if there's anything I can do, she just has to ask. So, back in my room again. Mm-hmm. Has someone been watering you? Who's taking care of you? <laughs> Certainly not me. I haven't been here this whole game. Poor plant. Well, who knows how long Penny's going to take with the director, so I think in the meantime, let's just take a quick visit to Nurse Miriam. I just want to see how she's doing. She's studying for a big important test, after all. Oh, Marchlin! I'm glad you're here. I have some good news. You're not going to believe this, but... I passed the health teacher certification exam! Oh my gosh, congratulations, Nurse Miriam! That's great! I'm so happy to hear that! I saw you pushing yourself real hard with the treasure hunt, and that really inspired me. And of course, most of the credit for my success goes to my own hard work, though. <laughs> That's true. Just because we inspired you doesn't mean you have been put in the work to really see it through. Thanks for giving me the push I needed to try again, Marjolaine. But they tell me there's no room to add new classes this year. Aw, that's a shame. So I guess I'll keep being Nurse Miriam for a bit. Just you wait, though. I'll be standing in front of a class at this academy before you know it. And then I'll teach you all you need to know about health. Oh, I look forward to that. I have a lot of questions. Like, uh, these four ears that I have? How do I take care of all of that? I'm counting on you, Nurse Miriam. I bet I'll make a great teacher. I can't wait to see you in my class. Oh, we formed a close bond with Nurse Miriam. Oh, I love that. Well, I guess we're just gonna head out. Oh. Rototototo. Marchlin? Hey, Penny. How did that talk go? Could you come meet me in front of the school stairs? You know, where we first met? I'll be waiting. Wait, can I meet Penny? How close to the... Ch okay, it's, it, it's probably outside... The, the range of Nimona, so I think we're okay. We're cutting it close, though. And if you look really closely, you can just make out the ghost of Nimona. Her spirit calls out for battle. Fluffy backpack, fluffy backpack. Oops. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that one. A hostile of e star The six of us thought of that catchphrase back when we created the team. It's so cringy, it's perfect, you know? Anyway, about that LP thing. I thought I was going down big time for hacking the League point system, but it looks like I got away with it. The Pokemon League said they'd waive my debt if I did some volunteer engineering for them. They even asked me to come work for them after I graduate, if you can believe it. Director Clavel and that Gita lady kept complimenting me. Like, a weird amount. Apparently I have an outstanding talent or something like that. Sorry for calling you out here to meet like this. I'm still not so great with people face to face. I never seem to find the right words, but um... Thank you, thank you so much. Aw, Penny. You're so lovably sincere, I love it. And honestly, if you feel too overwhelmed, all you have to do is like, take off that backpack and give it a huge squeeze. I've always found that a good stuffed animal hug does the trick. Ugh, rain. <laughs> not now. We're sharing a nice moment, Rain! It's all wet! The backpack is wet! No! I know words won't ever be enough to properly thank you for all you've done, so here. I want to repay the debt I owe you. If you ever think of a way I can do that, just let me know. So next time, I'll be the one helping you, Marjolaine. Be seeing you, Hostile of E-Star. <laughs> oh shoot, I was supposed to ask her that question! Aw, oh, darn it. That would have been the time. Eh, well, I'm sure I'll catch up with her sooner or later. Alright. Nimona. She's waiting down there. In the rain. Honestly, you can never dampen that girl's spirits. 
However, she's gonna have to wait because, well, all of her Pokémon are level 65. And, uh, well, my Pokémon are not. Mostly level 65. So I'm gonna have to deal with that first. Which means I think we're gonna have to do our last training session of the playthrough. I'm getting closer to the end of this. I only have five more Pokémon left that need to get to level 65. And honestly, it can't come soon enough. <laughs> Four more Pokemon left. Ah, that's Pothra! <laughs> Just out of nowhere. These really are the most dangerous birds. Three more left. Two more Pokemon left. Just to finish up the last two Pokemon, I came back over to the fairy base. And I need to make a sandwich. Lop, 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 lop. And we don't need this. <laughs> so much rice. All right, cool. Encounter power, normal, level two. That's a lot of chances. Oh, I forgot Sunflora was in the game again. <laughs> Sorry, Sunflora. Okay. All of my Pokemon are level 65. So we're in great shape. And as an added bonus, I went and defeated all the trainers in this area, or at least enough, to get me this item. I have a feeling we're gonna need this. <laughs> and before we leave, we can't forget this. One of those 10 sites of Paldea. Okay, I'm back in Mesa Gosa, and there she is. Nimona's waiting for us. She's waiting to battle us. Now, in the last episode, I said that I wouldn't feel great battling Nimona if not every single one of my Pokemon had made it through the league. I was able to take six of them through, but I have a team of 12, so. <laughs> Um, I wanted to get the other six through the league before fighting her. However, everyone, I have terrible news. I have awful news. It turns out you can't go through the league again after you defeat them once. It's once per playthrough. I was crushed when I learned this. Which means there's only one thing I can do. I'm going to use the six Pokemon that didn't get to go through the league to take on Nimona. This is going to be my team to fight her. Now, of course, of course, I have a plan. Actually, no, that's, that's that's a lie. I actually don't have a plan at all. Um, let's make a plan. Okay, everyone, welcome to the planning board, where I'm going to do my best to figure out a way to take down Nimona. Uh, I've got all of these assets to help me visualize what we're doing, and uh, some notes. Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> the thing about this battle is the fact that we've only seen four of Nimona's Pokemon. We know she's going to have a full team of six because that's just the way these things go. And we're not 100% sure what that team is going to look like at this stage. Well, alright, hold on. <laughs> that's not exactly true. I have played Scarlet before, so I have fought the champion battle with Nimona before. However, I only remember one of those Pokemon on this team. So, thanks to my meta knowledge, I know that she's got a Dedun Sparse, I think, <laughs> but I don't remember what the fifth or the sixth Pokemon is. So we're still going in pretty blind here. So best I can figure it, what's going to happen is she's going to send out Lycanroc first. I think Miascarada will be last though. Uh, and we know for a fact that she's going to Terra type that. Um, also Flower Trick, uh, very, very scary. So really our entire battle hinges upon, can we get past the Miascarada? Her mascara has a ton of speed, and of the six Pokemon available to me, uh, we, we don't really have any Pokemon that can naturally outspeed Mascarada, which means we're really relying on setup here. Now, my best shot is if I can get Liligant here, right? Because Liligant has a Pollen Puff, the bug move. That's a four times effective damage to this Pokemon. Yeah! <laughs> However, that means she has to outspeed Mascarada. Fortunately, as we've seen throughout this playthrough, Lilycant's very good at setup. Uh, Quiver Dance is an excellent move for this, but she's got to survive all of that. Now, setting up on the Lycanroc is very doable. In fact, in my last battle with Nimona, that's exactly what I did. I set up on the Lycanroc, and it worked out for the most part, except when she brought out Sligu, who is now going to be a Gudra. That was like her next Pokemon out. Uh, Sap Sipper. Sap Sipper became a problem. At the time, I didn't have uh, a bug move on Lily Gantz, so 
That was an issue. Also, I was using Petal Dance, I think, so that was that was a huge problem. But it is possible that if I can have a better move set for Lily Gant, say Giga Drain and Pollen Puff rather than Petal Dance, I might be able to get past both of these Pokemon. Now, the question is, can I get past the other two and the mystery Pokemon to all to get all the way to Miascarada? Um, the Lycanroc is a little bit scary because you know physical Lily Gant. Not, not the bulkiest Pokemon in the world. But I have the rest of my team too to help. Of course, the Lycanroc also has Sand Attack, which would be really bad for us. So I'm thinking that if we do want to try our, on our first attempt, hopefully our only attempt, <laughs> to set up on Lycanroc, we might want to put the Clear Amulet on Liligant and also make sure that she has access to like Synthesis so that she can like heal even while setting up on Lycanroc. So that's an option. Another option is sending out in our Indeedee, our Croissant, first to sort of uh, set up Reflect and take a little bit of that um, initial damage during setup. Now Taffeta 2 can take a hit here and there. So there is that. Uh, I just don't really have like a great move setup for her or like an idea for that. Uh, Pomot is there. Not really sure. Like Pomot's just there. <laughs> And kind of like Pomot, Lemon is just here. So yes, I think the idea is Operation Get Liligant to Miascarada. If we can do that, we win the battle. So let's give it a shot. All right, this is it. I've tweaked the moves. I've got my Pokemon in order. And there's Nimona. Ah, Marchalin, there you are. You ready for a battle between champions? Because all these folks here seem ready to watch. Word got around, I guess. Oh, that person had a mischievous. <laughs> and out of every single person gathered here, I'm the most excited by a mile. <laughs> well, I'm right behind you, Nimona. <laughs> I love how over the top she is, but like, uh, she's still so cool. Oh, I love her. Oh, this is it. This is where I claim my revenge. We I've got this. Champion Nimona. Alright, let's go. Yep, just like I thought. Like rocks out first. And I have deviated from the plan. Sending out Taffeta 2 first. She comes equipped with a rocky helmet and the move Chilling Water which should help lower Lycanroc's attack stats. That's what I'm most concerned about, because like we need Rosemary to set up, but I don't think she can if Lycanroc's too powerful. Oh, right into a Stealth Rock. Oh, I was hoping to get the attack drop. Oh, there it is. Okay. <laughs> I was worried that it wasn't going to happen. The cutscene took priority, I guess. Yeah, that's right. You missed that attack. Minus two to attack? I don't know, this might be the time. I'm just worried about switching her in too soon. What if... All right, what if I switch into Lemon real fast? I've taught her spikes. Maybe that's gonna help. Ooh. That's, that's not bad. And she has uh, leftovers too. Oh, Drill Run? When did you pick that up? <laughs> Alright, I think we're just going to keep using Spikes and just see how far Lemon gets. I mean, two layers of Spikes is pretty great. Think I can get a Recover off? Maybe I can get all of the layers of Spikes. Well, Lemon survived on five, so we got that Recover off. And a little bit more Leftovers. And how many layers of spikes can we do? Alright, up to three. So we're done with spikes. Not bad. Not bad. Alright, a little risky. So what we're gonna do, I think, is switch over into croissants. We'll set up a reflect and then baton pass into rosemary. Nice job. 
All right, we've got like four turns of reflect, so let's start the quiver dance. There's one. There's two. There's three. And Lycanroc is using Accelerock, so maybe they don't have Sand Attack anymore. There's four. Five. And there's six. Okay, here goes. <laughs> this is really important. Will Rosemary be able to get through a full team of six? We start with Giga Drain. All right, Gudra, just like we thought. Oh, best drippy dragon. I love you, Gudra. Oh, I want to hug one of those so bad. I, I, I probably have to take a major shower afterward, but you know what? Worth. Super worth. Look at that cutie. All right, Pollen Puff, because we know that Gudra has Sap Zipper. Ooh, didn't get the hit. Oh, we got lucky there. Okay. But, but, Gudra is a special wall, so it does make sense that Gudra would be pretty good against that. Here comes Pawmot, just saving the surprises for last, Nimona. Ah, uh, yes, Giga Drain just one hit, and is going to put her health back up. Oh, we're in a great spot. <laughs> Let's see, what's, what are the last two Pokemon? All right, I was correct. The Dunsparce is one of her Pokemon. Uh, I'm not really sure which move is better against the Dunsparce, so we're gonna we're gonna go with Giga Drain. At least we have Stab. Ah, oh, yes! Cut through to Dunsparce! What is the next Pokemon? Orthworm! Oh, okay. Steel? Oh no. Hmm. Um, I'm liking those spikes though. Definitely liking those spikes. Well, so, good news, Orthworm has absolutely abysmal special defense. Bad news, <laughs> as you can see, Pollen Puff and Giga Drain, not gonna be good either way. We're going for Stab then. And it didn't matter. Yes! Oh, I think this is our fight! I think we did it! Leading with Taffeta 2 and Lemon, I think, just, just like sealed the victory for us. We shouldn't celebrate just yet, though. Meowskarad is very scary. Meowskarad is pretty fast. And is going to terrestrialize. Oh, I'm so nervous. Is this it? Is this finally it? Oh, we went first. And that's it! We did it! Yes! We just claimed victory against Nimona! We did it! <gasps> oh, yes! That, that, that's, that's, that's a capture taken right there. <laughs> yes! <laughs> this is incredible! You're the strongest out there, Marchlin! I mean, you knocked me flat, and I was giving you absolutely everything I had. Everything I... I... <laughs> oh man, Pokemon battling, am I right? It's so much better, so much more fun than I ever, ever even knew. Thanks for the incredible match. You beat me for real this time. A Rika and a Mischievous. Oh, that's also a true prize. Now let's give ourselves a minute before round two. <laughs> Which Pokemon should I bring out this time? Decisions! Decisions! Oh, wow, I am so elated. Oh, I'm so happy we did it! We took down Nimona on her level with my team of six Pokemon that arguably were not well equipped or matched for her. But a win's a win. <laughs> and I'm taking it. Roto to to to. Yo, Arvin here. Hey, Arvin. Um, so you'll never believe it, but. But. <laughs> I managed to defeat the battle maniac Nimona that you're always going on about. Oh, Mabustiff, you're there too. 
Whoa, down boy! Don't jump up like that! Seems like hearing your voice says old Mabo stiff here all worked up, Marchelin. Oh, but that's not why I called. Nearly forgot. You remember what we talked about before? About going to Area Zero? I sure do. Oh wait, I was supposed to talk to Penny. Oh, I really messed that up. I wonder where she is. Well, all the effort you've been putting in around Paldea has really helped make a name for yourself. Built up some goodwill, that's for sure. So I've been able to secure two allies who want to go to Area Zero with us. That should have us ready to tackle anything. So now we've just all got to get there. First step will be gathering at Area Zero. I'll be ready and waiting at Zero Gate. I'll send you the location on your phone, too. Don't leave me hanging forever. Okay. That's where we'll be heading to. Alright, first things first. Let's get out of this room. And water this plant. You should show off. You both did great. Lemon, Taffeta 2. You really helped cinch this victory today. I'm proud of both of you. Croissant, thank you for your reflect. Um, I won't... I, I won't I won't stop you from sleeping. You deserve it. And Rosemary, oh, thank you so much. Hazel, Claudia, thanks for your support, even though I didn't actually need your help this time. But I appreciate that you were both there in my corner. This can't be good for your flower, but... <laughs> eh, you don't seem to mind. Well, everyone, we finally did it. We finally got our revenge on Nimona. <laughs> We've brought our win-loss rate up from uh, 1 to 4 to 2 to 4. <laughs> but you know what? We won the most important battle. We won the one that really counts. <laughs> and if this episode hadn't made that clear, I couldn't be any happier about it. Oh, Claudia. <laughs> Next episode, we might not tackle Area Zero right away. I do intend to go there soon, but I think I want to catch up on all the other little storylines of the school. Uh, not to mention our classes. We're pretty close to finals. So maybe we knock all that out next episode? I don't know. I'll see if I can scrape together a fun episode around all that. But pretty soon, it's off to Area Zero we go, and then, I guess, wrapping up the main story. But at any rate, I want to thank you all for watching and for joining me. If you made it this far, I really appreciate it. And I hope you'll join me next time, too. So all you wonderful people out there, I hope you stay well. And until I see you next time, don't forget to eat lots of bread. That's usually how that outro goes, right?